All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my monthly income for the month of March. And as you can see here right now, it says my monthly income is $198.85. That is not entirely true, although it's a rough estimate that's excluding all taxes. So what I've done here is I've pulled up my brokerage account and we're gonna go through this together, starting from March, my first dividends all the way up and to my latest dividends as you can see the only one that is not factored in is clip but what we'll do is i'll be able to estimate that no problem because clip has now released their dividend as i mentioned yesterday i made a video and it was actually one out of ten so i'm super grateful to be back at this marker where we are creating the most viewed videos um in the past little while i'm super excited to see this one out of ten most people like 10 out of 10s on this channel we like one out of tens 800 views in the past 17 hours or so which is fantastic five new subscribers on the channel if you haven't subscribed we're up to 4225 subscribers thank you for those five people who joined the channel and let's see how many we can get for tomorrow but nonetheless yesterday i made a video talking about clips dividend and they didn't mention i wasn't able to kind of show you guys the dividend but i seen it on weeble and it is exactly the same as i mentioned 0 0.61 cents for clips dividend that is the dividend for march so in this video, we're talking about all my dividends, and what I'll do is I'm gonna pull up my portfolio here so you guys aren't gonna see this, and what you'll see is exactly how many shares, my current kind of percentage on each of these stocks that I'm being paid a dividend on, and yeah, we'll just go from there. <clears throat> so, the first dividend we're gonna be talking about is QQQY, and what I'm gonna do is I have both Canadian and USD, and I'm not gonna go back and forth by converting to can uh, the canadian to usd so i'm just going to add them up all the same we're going to get a rough estimate or so so the first dividend that we're going to be looking at is this usd dividend from qqqy it came in at 3.20 so we're going to 3.20 we're going to subtract the tax on this which is right down here so we got 0 0.48 subtract 0 0.48 <clears throat> first dividend underway so we're going to our next one which is this one right here also from qqqy because i hold it in both canadian and usd so we got 1086 plus 10.86 boom we're up to 13 dollars and 58 cents but we do need to subtract the tax on that so we will get to that and we can see here 1.63 beautiful so we got subtract 1.63 <clears throat> awesome so that is our total dividends from qqqy qqqy if i go into my portfolio here if i can find it 14 shares i'm currently down about 14 percent but this is a stock that's paying roughly 50 percent dividend so i've been up on this position for the current time period that i've held it i'm doing pretty well now moving along here we have tesla tesla obviously pays some pretty huge dividends i want to start with the biggest dividend they had which is their canadian dividend up here so we got 5561 plus 55.61 boom we're up to 67 dollars. now we got to subtract the tax so we're going to go down we go to tesla which is canadian we got eight dollars and 34 cents right here so we'll subtract 8.34 beautiful now we're back down to 60 dollars. <laughs> okay so we got tsoy and the usd dividend so we got 1541 <clears throat> plus 15.41 cool now we're gonna jump to coney coney paid us we have only four shares of coney it paid us eight dollars and 94 cents right here we're gonna do plus 8.94 boom nice now we are going to subtract that dividend of 1.33 subtract 1.33 boom entered in 82 we're up to $82. This is roughly, we're going to count this as Canadian dollars because it's going to be less than the American. So we'll just say this is Canadian dollars. No problem. Now we got SQY 19.35 plus 19.35. Boom. Up to $100 now. And we got, what do we have here? We have SQY 2.89 is a tax. So subtract 2.89. Beautiful. Okay, now moving along here, we are going all the way up to Walgreens. Now, these are more the stable stocks that I do own. Walgreens, you can see here, WBA, they paid us 
two dollars and 75 cents i'm pretty sure they did have a little bit of a stock split recently so plus 2.75 or not a stock split a dividend cut a dividend split quote unquote subtract the tax zero point oh we are up to one point four one we are going to subtract 0.41 boom we're at a hundred dollars even if i could get the calculations up perfect <clears throat> we were at to 1.45 0 0.41 okay beautiful thank you guys for sticking with me right now because we are getting through it we are up to a hundred dollars that is factoring in wba's current dividend and now we're going to 3m which is another one that i hold i only hold three shares of this so we got four plus four dollars and 53 cents from 3m now we're going to the tax which is 67 cents we're going to subtract this subtract 0.67 beautiful so we're up to 104 dollars and to be honest the real bulk of the income is going to come from clips dividend later on you can see adc a dollar 24 it's another long-term stock that i hold in this portfolio it's not all high yielding stocks there are some low yielding stocks <clears throat> subtracting 18 cents right here 0.18 nothing too crazy here we're moving along we have stag industrial which pays a 1.73 dollar dividend 1.73 boom and we got to subtract that tax which is 25 cents so we're going to go subtract 0.25 and in a little bit you guys are going to see kind of my total monthly income this is going to be in canadian dollars we can also convert this to usd so it's no problem it's 4.4 dollars from epr we're going to subtract the tax which is subtract 0 0.66 boom so we're up to 11, $111.18. We're going to put in our last dividend, which is USOI. We got $3.43. So we go plus 3.43. Beautiful. <clears throat> so at $114, we're going to calculate this as Canadian. I know that there's obviously a lot of US dividends mixed into this, guys, but I want to undercut it more than anything. I don't want to overcut it. And this is what we've pretty much always done for our dividends. And so. What we're going to do here is I'm going to add clips dividend. So we got $114.61. We are going to remember this and we are going to take clips dividend multiplied by my shares, which is 150. And we are going to subtract times 0.15. 13, 13 dollars and 73 cents. So we got 13 dollars and 73 cents subtracted from 91. So we got 13. 0.73 beautiful and what we're going to do is we are going to add this to our 114 dollars and 15 cents boom we're up to roughly about 191 dollars in canadian dollars now i understand the last dividend from clip was actually in usd as well but that's okay so roughly we're receiving about 191 dollars canadian from our investments from our roughly eight thousand dollars so portfolio and you'll notice here that my portfolio value has actually been decreasing over the past little while and my percentage return has becoming less the reason being is because i haven't invested any of my dividends going all the way back to my last purchase which was roughly about the start of february it doesn't even see it in the past 45 days <clears throat> so in the past 45 days i haven't actually made any new purchases to this account so really my account should be sitting at about eight thousand three hundred dollars or so and this return should be a little bit less maybe about negative 28 negative 29 percent instead because we are investing in a lot of the high dividend payers with 50 percent dividends and so it makes sense that we are down pretty heavily as a lot of the dividend is taken out of the current share price sure reinvesting over time should allow you to recoup this kind of negative loss but that will only come in years to come because it will take time for the depreciation to be outweighed by the high dividends. So it, all in all, this was just a little video to show you how much exactly I'm making in terms of dividends every single month. Currently making about $191.42 from my $8,000 stock portfolio. Not much has really changed from the previous month due to the fact that I haven't really reinvested. That's just going off the fact that I don't want to reinvest into something like Tesla, for example, that has been just trending down. The only stock that I really looked to reinvest into 
would be clip if my screen doesn't go all crazy here with my 150 shares i definitely like to put so 191 dollars back into that or something a bit more long term i think that the high dividends so far they've treated me decent i am down roughly about 34 percent of my portfolio but as i explained that's not all just a loss as i haven't reinvested my dividends in about two months or so so that kind of plays into it but yeah, it'll be interesting to see where we go from here. I'm definitely open, opening up a new portfolio as well. So I'm going to have two of them. I'm going to have a long term portfolio and I'm going to have more of a short term high yield dividend portfolio as I've been doing for the past little while. But these are some stocks that I might look to get into in the short or sorry for the long term. <clears throat> I can't necessarily transfer my dividends between accounts, but what I would do is make a separate account and then invest in these long-term stocks. So that is kind of where I'm sitting at. I'm kind of in a mix between long and short-term dividend stocks with lower and higher yields. What we're going to do is we're going to definitely be comparing kind of the performance and the returns for these two portfolios in the future, which is going to be very exciting. But for now, that is the total dividends that I'm making in the month of March. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it motivated you guys to continue to invest and reinvest your dividends as each and every month they can grow bigger and bigger, even though I am uh, c totally contradicting my point because I have not reinvested into these stocks that I currently own. But we will see in the future. So <clears throat> with all that being said, I want to say we're up to 4,225 subscribers. I want to say thank you to everyone who's, you know, watching our videos, liking, commenting, doing all the above. It really helps out the channel. And I I really appreciate it if you guys did enjoy this video. So without further ado, I want to say I hope you guys take care. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys have a great Wednesday.